Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're gonna to do a review of a 2022 Renegade Verona 36 VSB. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Abby, thanks for helping out with the camera. My pleasure. Let's get started. So we just did a 2022 Renegade Verona. It's actually right next door, <laughs> the burgundy one. Um, but this is a different color. It's like gray and charcoal and silver. Very it's really nice color. pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. So we're gonna do a video of this too because the interior is different as well. So the Renegade Verona is on the Freightliner M2 chassis with the 106 cab. They put the 8.9 liter Cummins in it. They rate that at 360 horsepower. That's new wow. for 2022. It used to be 350. Now it's 360, and they give you 1150 on the torque. They pair that up to the Allison 3200 truck transmission. This is not a motorhome series, and that's why you could tow 20,000 pounds with this beast. <laughs> wow. Very, very It nice. is a beast for sure. So, really nice fiberglass front cap with a windshield in there. We're going to take a look at that when we get to the inside. This does have the all new Freightliner safety suite in it. So, you have your on guard system right there, which is going to take care of your adaptive cruise and accident, accident mitigation. And then, right up in the windshield, you see that little eye camera thingy? That's going to tell you when you're leaving the lane, when you don't have your turn signal on. Very All right, cool. So, let's do tire size, cargo capacity. We'll do loop the outside, we'll jump on the inside. All right. These are the Bridgestone tires, they are 295.75. R22.5 on some really nice Alcoa wheels. They're aluminum. <laughs> Cargo carrying capacity of this bad boy is 7,849 pounds. Ooh. Wow, that's great. Yeah. All right, so beautiful full body paint. Um, I do have the generator running because I want to put some air on in there for us, so it'll be nice and cool when we get in there. Really nice Gerard power awning with the LED strip. You got a LED porch light out there fiberglass front cap and really nice fiberglass transitions that take you from the cab to the box. You do have a nice outside entertainment here, Samsung television with a really nice Samsung sound bar and you can Bluetooth connect to that, play your music. The vent is vented outside instead of charcoal filtering back inside. Here, come on past because okay. you need to be on this side of the door. Done. Really nice double latch, double hinge doors, steel compartments that are carpeted. In this compartment, you have the brand new 3000 watt hybrid inverter, as well as your Jaboni solar controller. Say that three times fast. Jaboni solar controller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little bit bigger in this compartment here. You do have a 110 outlet on the GFI circuit. There's a little spin out in the floor to be able to take the cord through. Double latch, double hinge, steel compartment, carpeted with an LED light. That's the air compressor hose for the other side. I'll show you that when we get in that okay. battery compartment that's in there. This wow. compartment does go under the frame rail a little bit. Give you some extra. So big. Yep. Yeah. Very, very nice. It's Very like office. sleeping area. How pretty that is. Oh, Beautiful yeah. All right. This is your bed slide here. There is another slide on the other side. This is double slide. Look at how far under the frame rail that one goes. Very nice storage there. And the last compartment, right there, just a little bit of storage. A little bit. Yep, let's go around the back. Coming around the back. Nice fiberglass rear cap. It is a two-piece cap from here down. It's a separate section, so if you were to take a hit in the rear, you're not replacing this whole cap. You can just do the bumper section. This does have a 20,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector. You also have a nice Voyage data feed for a trailer camera. They do give you a hitch with a two inch ball and a two and five sixteenths inch ball. And up top, you got your backup camera. This also has side view cameras. And one thing I really like, they put the generator exhaust out the back so it's not going out underneath of a slide out. All right, coming around to the side, that's not loud at all. No, it's I mean, not. We can talk normal. 
First compartment on the rear here is your short power cord that is on a power reel. They give you a nice 110 outlet there. You have a surge protector with a built-in surge guard. And they give you an electrical step down to take the cord down from 50 to 30. Neat. Very nice. Next compartment, AKW quiet diesel generator. More than enough to run everything in this coach at the same time. One thing I like about this is they put screws here and here. So if you take that bracket off, it's easy to remove the generator for a major service. You don't need to do that just for an oil changer, routine, routine maintenance. This one is your wet bay. Cute. You, I love how they stencil hydro cut the lettering in there. That is different. The, the other uh, font was different than this font in mm -hmm. the uh, Vienna or the Villaggio. So you have a full house filtration. This does have a power hose reel right here. So you pull that out and you can just press the button to retract it in. You got your black dump, your gray dump, your black tank flush. You have a sprayer here that hooks up to this spigot. Spigot. Low point drain right there. This is the wrench for the filter housing. You can store your sewer tube right here. Yeah. And uh, when you hook up your water to the hose, that's the power hose right here, you can divert it to either tank fill or city water. Very nice. And you have your park cable in there as well. I like it. Very nice. Two exhaust pipes here. One is for the engine. The other one's for the hydraulic. We'll get to that up front. Two 75 gallon waste tanks in this bad boy and 150 gallons of fresh water under the tank, under the, under the bed. So one thing I like about their sewage dump is there's a spin out right below it. So if you spun that spin out out and you took the cap off, if there's any residual water in there, gonna drip onto the ground, then you just hook up your hose and you can take it over here and put it out this spin out right there. So that's one 75 gallon waste tank. The other 75 gallon waste tank is right there. sticking on the gasket. This is your Aqua Hot 250D, and this is gonna take care of your heat and your hot water. That's nice. tankless. Wow, so that means endless hot showers. You got it. Woohoo! I like that. I like that, and that runs off of either diesel or electricity 110 power. This compartment here houses your truck and your house batteries. This is the lithium upgrade. There's your Victron energy controller. You can Bluetooth connect to that and see how your batteries are doing. Also, all the way in the back there, there's a little rubber cap on it, but it has the air compressor. I see it. And uh, you're gonna get 18.7 cubic foot per minute at 120 PSI. Wow. Very nice. No this flat bike have, tires, right? This, no flat bike tires, <laughs> rafts, even RV tires, although it will take a time to, to fill the RV tire. Nice. This does have the solar and lithium. That's a great package. I'm gonna stretch out the time between generator runs. All right, over here you have your DEF or diesel exhaust fluid right there. You do have twin 50 gallon diesel fuel tanks. There is an Equiflow tube between them, but my recommendation is go to the truck stops that have the satellite pumps, fill it 30 gallon a minute, you're done in five minutes. Engine block heater right here. And I do like how they make their steps, their fiberglass steps, but they put the metal treads on them and you're not gonna slip on there. Power heated mirrors on the top, blind spot mirrors on the bottom. This one is prepped for a CV and that's the antenna for it. And then you have your side view camera right there. Let me see it. Mounted as far forward on the fenders, they can go. Abby, that's the outside of this beautiful coach. Beautiful. I can't wait to show you the inside. I can't wait, let's go. Nice and cool in here. So I have the slide outs in. Come on in and show them how you can get to the refrigerator, bathroom, and bedroom with the slide outs closed. Okay. Plenty of space. This is crazy big. Yeah, someone tells me I'm not going to have any problems. Nope. Access to the fridge. Oh, I love this radius corner. Access to the bathroom, bedroom. Pretty sweet. Let's Looking good. Show them the rest. All right. All right, let's start the cat and work our way back. All right. So new for 2022, you're going to have new seats for the Verona and Valencia. They have this really nice knee bolster. So gonna hold up your legs and not get fatigued. You have a side bolster here and a side bolster here and adjustable armrests. And these seats are heated and air ride. Very nice. You do have tilt and telescope wheel. There's a built-in brake controller down here. That's the pedal for your tilt and telescope. And they do have an axle lock so you can lock out your rear differential. You get power windows, engine brake, um, heated mirrors, and you can adjust the suspension in the rear down right now. You can't drive it like that, but you can take it down if you want to put a trailer on it. It's a little too high. 
New Garmin tablet, much bigger for this model year. You can put your profile in there, height, weight, length, all that. So you can route your self around any restrictions that you might have. Find a date. You got it. Uh, lane alert can be shut off. Um, oh, that's your uh, cruise control. This is the engine brake over here. And you do have the tire pressure monitoring system, and this is part of that safety suite that's gonna do your adaptive cruise and accident mitigation. You also have your HVAC right here. Both of these seats swivel around and become part of the living space. Very nice. Very. Oh, this is prepped up here for a CV as well. And it does have an air horn and a regular city horn. So, Abby, this is the all new bunk over the cab. They brought this out in 2021. It was very popular. We put it in pretty much all of our 2022 models. We really like it. It makes an additional sleeper, and they give you that really nice uh, window in there. So, I'm going to show you how you retract that shade. We can open that up. So, oh, you want light in nice. there. Very nice little skylight. Now, this does slide in. So if you want to be able to walk in and out of the cab without banging your head, you can just slide that forward. This does have its own TV up here for whoever's sleeping up there. And there's a pocket over on the other side with some USBs and 110 outlet and some nice LED lighting in there. Very cool. And one thing I do want to show you is right up here, you have air conditioning ducts. You got it right there. Right there and over on this side over here. Two air conditioner ducts. Cool. So whoever's sleeping up top there is not going to get hot. Two AC units, and then the heat hot water is done by the aqua hot system. They give you a much bigger TV over top of the entryway that is on a swivel arm, so you can angle it back at the dinette if you're sitting back there. I've never noticed this before. Fit a little countertop there. This is just a multiplex pad that comes from the Firefly system over there. <laughs> All right, little armrest in the middle with cup holders and USBs and a little tray back there. These are the reclining theater seats. They will Very go out nice. wow. darn near flat. I really like these. Look how flat they go. I could definitely sleep on one of those. Over here you have a 110 outlet with some USBs and you have a ton of storage over top of those seats. All right, everybody, here's where I'm gonna ask you for some help. This channel is about bringing you awesome new products like this and taking your feedback back to the manufacturers. So do me a favor, leave some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. All of these compartments have hidden hinges and tension hinges, which are going to keep them open so they're not falling down on you. They'll stay wherever you put them. We got eight of those across. That's really nice. Really nice kitchen. I love the kitchen. Single basin sink with a pull out sprayer faucet. Really nice kitchen window right there. You got storage above that you can access from the side as well. Very nice. Nice wow. shelf in there. We got an outlet right here as well. Convection microwave oven. Very nice. Huge. Very you big. Fit a couple casseroles in there. <laughs> All of your AV stuff has been relocated from the cab over to right there because of that bunk. And this does have the wine guard uh, connect that's going to give you a digital antenna and uh, Wi Fi. Soft closed drawers. So you got three of those right there. Very nice. Abby, they even give you a place for a wastebasket. Smart thinking. Love that. And, and a little bit of storage on this side. A little bit. <laughs> and over here, you have your 12-volt fuses and two breaker panels. One is going to show you what will work off of the inverter. And the one down below will show you what works off of generator or shore power only. Very nice. I love that they do that. And you do have induction cooktop, two burners. Since this is an all-electric coach, there's no propane. That's your Firefly system right there cool part about the Firefly, they do have a mobile app called Vega Touch Mirror. You can operate that whole system from your uh, cell phone or mobile device. Love this pantry. Adjustable shelves up top, drawers below. Very, very nice. And these are soft clothing drawers. Very cool. New refrigerator style for 2022. Oh my very gosh, nice. it's Lots huge. Look, look how cool that is. Wow. Huge. And a drawer on the Enormous. bottom with an ice maker. Uh. Got the ice maker there. And right above here, there's more storage, but if you put the camera up there, you're gonna see a little white switch over to the left-hand side. See it. That's the water cutoff switch for the ice maker. So if you wanna winterize it, you don't have to worry about uh, water or antifreeze going into that. You can, you can just bypass it. Dinette does go down into a sleeper. They just flip the switch and push it down. Very nice. One dream dinette. There are drawers underneath of the dining table. They hold the cushions that make the dining table into a bed. But if you take those out of there, you can have some storage. 
Got a lot of storage over top of there. I love their light fixtures. I even like their woodwork. Look at this. This is just super pretty. I'm going to put Verona right into that. Beautiful. All right, coming on back. Pocket door right here at the bathroom. Levi's pocket door. You got your stackable washer and dryer. One thing I like about that, they have their own shelves. So if you need to remove one, you don't have to remove the other to do that. New for 2022, they give you a second panel for the Firefly back here. Nice, that was nice of them. Nice medicine cabinet behind the mirror right there. That's beautiful. Lots of countertop space out here with a towel holder and a 110 outlet there. And you have a little bit of storage underneath of the vanity right here. Yeah. Two cabinets and a drawer. Coming into the bathroom. I'll put that fan down. It's more noisy. Corner radius shower. Ton of space in here. Wow. I can put my hands up, wash my beard. Oh my goodness. Tons of space. Tons. Good clean fun in there, babe. You got it. Nice shower head there. You even have a stool to shave your legs. Put your shampoo and soap up here. Jimmy, you nice. shave your legs? Only in college when I was a swimmer. <laughs> Actually, I did in high school and college when I was a swimmer. Made you swim faster, believe it or not. Grease lightning. Really nice porcelain toilet with the resin lid and Abby. Soft closed lid. Uh, and it is a push button nice. flush macerating toilet. They even give you a towel holder, a toilet paper holder. Nice storage up there. And a fan. Pocket door here. Pocket door at the bedroom as well. Come on in. King beds with nightstands on either side with 110 outlets and USBs. They do have a nice headboard. You have more multiplex switching up there in the middle. Windows on either side for a nice cross ventilation. And storage. some storage compartments up top. Super cute. Got a really nice mirror across the back here. Beautiful. Wardrobes here. Nice thing is you can take out this panel for your trench coat or your choir robe. <laughs> And there's a hanging bar on the bottom. Wedding if you want dress. To have. Wedding dress. I was trying to think of other things that you would need for like a long, I don't know. TV up there. Gown. Audio visual right there. A little bit of storage there. And you do have two nice soft closed drawers there and four right there. Above the four drawers, really nice, uh, man, there's some sawdust in there. <laughs> really nice wardrobe with the hanging bar there. Beautiful coach, right? That is beautiful. Let's give them a once through and we'll wrap this up. All right, let's do it. I forgot, 150 gallons under the bed, but I think I said that outside. It's gorgeous, Jimmy. Thank you for showing it to me. So, Abby, this one is still available. What? 2022 Renegade Verona 36 VSB. I have one in the nice burgundy, and I have one in the silver and black. They are both still available. If you have any questions or you would like to know more, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned. Thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe.